Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's episode of Game Poke and today we're going to talk about something that's always been quite interesting to me. We all wait for the next generation of game consoles, don't we? But we're all looking forward to the PS5 and the Xbox... What? I mean, what are they going to call that? It's going to be another stupid name, isn't it? Nintendo fuck knows with them, but we're all looking forward to the next gen of consoles because with every generation, better games. Not completely, not every game is going to be better, but as a whole, pretty much, yeah. But the funny thing is, that transition from one console generation to the other isn't like, that's it, the last one's dead. When we had the PS3 and the PS4 come out, we didn't just do that. We didn't have the PlayStation 3 die with all of its games. No, it carried on for a little bit, which is what's going to happen with the PS4. But anyway, if you look at a game like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, came out on the PS3, came out on the PS4. The only real difference is that graphically it's better on the PS4, of course. Uh, was there extra downloadable content? I don't know. But there was loads of games like that where, you know, the only difference was the graphics and potentially DLC, because that's a thing these days. Back in the past, when you had Master System and Mega Drive, which is what we're going to talk about today, downloadable content wasn't a thing. Graphics, yes, obviously they were better, but not every single game was better. And to prove it, today I want to talk about five games that were out on the Master System and the Mega Drive that were actually better on the Master System. The 8-bit versions were better than the 16-bit versions. Graphically, no, of course not. But gameplay-wise, if you played both, I'm pretty sure you would pick the Master System. But just want to quickly say, these games are my opinion. It's opinionated by me. If you don't agree, fine. Talk about it with me in the comments. Let's not get pissy. This is just my opinion, all right? So the first game is one I've talked about in the past uh, on a video that will come up in the corner. And that game is Alien Free. Now the Mega Drive version looks awesome. Does sound pretty cool as well. But it's a cunt. It's fucking difficult, man. You try your best, but you just always seem to die. It's not a fun game. I don't know why there's so many copy, uh, copies about it. You go to a car boot sale or a shop that happens to have Mega Drive games, there's always an Alien Free. It's like it was mass produced to fuck. I don't know why there are so many. But it's not good on the Mega Drive. The Master System obviously doesn't look as good, but it plays better. You can get further in the Master System one than the Mega Drive one. And that's not because there's a difficulty difference. No, it's just... How do I put it? The Mega Drive version of Alien 3 has more bullshit bits. Like, I climb to the top of a ladder and an alien will twat me and I'll fall all the way back down. So I have to climb all the way back up, that same alien will respawn and do the exact same thing and it will keep doing that. Whereas in the Master System one, you can go to the top of the ladder, wait, you can see the alien and you just wait for him to fuck off for a second. You know, it's all about opportunities and that kind of shit. But, is it fun on the Master System? Kind of. Mega Drive? No. I honestly think, no. Next game is a weird one, Jurassic Park. On the Master System, it is so different from its Mega Drive brother. I, I don't know why, but the Mega Drive one is just so bad. It's really dark in places, you get lost, you die, it's shit. It's got the same sort of fucking sickness as Alien 3. Dark as hell, you get lost, you die. Wicked. The Master System one is a hundred times more colourful, much more appealing to the eye, and you can actually get levels done. You know, it's a game, basically, whereas the Mega Drive 1 is not. So it's, it's quite simple, really. The Master System 1 is just superior. They're kind of different games. They're not the same. I know there's a lot of different Jurassic Parks on your Mega Drive consoles and your Mega CDs. And to my knowledge, there's only one on the Master System. Yes, there's only one. But that one is better than all of them pieces of shit. Again, my opinion. Next one I want to do is not like the others where both games called Jurassic Park, both games called Alien 3. No, these games have different names but they're the same sort of shit and they don't really fit in but I'm never going to get the chance to talk about it so I'm just going to do it here. Right, Dragon Crystal is a thousand times better than Fatal Labyrinth. Fatal Labyrinth, <sighs> it's gone far more into the story side of things which is good, it's good. 
Gameplay wise, it's shit. It's so bloody annoying. Everything's just crap. The whole hunger system seems to kill me all the fucking time. I really can't stand it. But Dragon Crystal is so much more simpler, and yet they got it right. Yeah, I know this shouldn't really be on this video because, again, Dragon Crystal, Fatal Labyrinth, not the same game, but everyone says Fatal Labyrinth is like the spiritual sequel or successor to Dragon Crystal, since there is no Dragon Crystal on the Mega Drive. I just want to say I don't like Fatal Labyrinth. I don't understand why it gets praise and appears on all these compilations across Sega things and shit. It's not a good game. Dragon Crystal's awesome. Most people that play Dragon Crystal, again, are not as familiar with the Master System one as they are the Game Gear one. Game Gear one you can buy on your 3DS, so if you want to try it, and you want to try it on the cheap side, get that one. A lot easier than getting a Master System one. I think the Master System one's like 15 to 20 quid because it's a really good game. But the Game Gear downloadable one's obviously cheap as shit. I don't think it even breaks a fiver. Try Dragon Crystal. Stay away from Fatal Labyrinth. And now, the last two games are very controversial, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to shout at the screen, but fuck it. First one will be um, the lesser of the two, so I'll piss you off. Tasmania. Done a big video on that again. I grew up with Tasmania on the Master System. It was one of the first ever games I ever had and ever played. Love it. It's so much fun. It's, it's great for kids. It's a great kids game, um, having said that, it's not something that every kid could complete. It's sort of like, difficulty levels, like, easy to normal. It's not quite on a normal, medium difficulty, but it's, it's nearly there, it's nearly. Colourful, great music, storyline is exactly the same as the Mega Drive, it's just that it's all text, whereas the Mega Drive did have some picture bits, but all around, great fun game. The Mega Drive? I cannot understand why so many people like it, because it's shit. The music sounds like a bass guitar getting thrown down a staircase. The jump sound is wrong. fucking wank. Everything seems slow, but that might be that the PAL edition is, I don't know, maybe it's vastly crapper than your Genesis and NTSC ones. But, I, I get the bear. The Mega Drive 1 is just poo, it's difficult, the enemies come out of nowhere, it's got a huge bullshit factor, that's what I mean by difficulty, I don't mean fair difficulty, as the game gets progressively harder and more challenging, challenging's fine, we want challenge, what we don't want is the kind of bullshit that gets offered in this fucking game, the Mega Drive Taz is ass, they don't fucking like it, and I don't think anyone should, yet for some reason people do. It will never make sense to me. I'm rambling now. Master System 1. Master Shapiro. Now for the one that's really going to piss you off. Mm. Sonic the Hedgehog on the Master System is better than Sonic the Hedgehog on the Mega Drive. But very different reasons than your Taz game. Both of these Sonic games are incredible. They're awesome. But I would say that the Master System 1 is just that little bit better. For only one real reason. It's more skill based. You have to be a better gamer to complete that one. The Mega Drive one, well, uh, anyone can complete it if they don't bother with the Chaos Emeralds. Anyone can do it. Not everyone can do it w with getting all the Chaos Emeralds, but the challenge isn't that high. It's really not. The Master System one has a much higher challenge, especially with the end boss. They can really fuck you up the first time you get there. Again, obviously, all of these Mega Drive games, graphics are better. Sound, not always, because the Mega Drive had a very distinct sound, and sometimes it was really fitting, sometimes it was not. Tasmania was not, music was ass. Sonic the Hedgehog, the music is awesome on whatever fucking system it's on. And there you have it, kind of a short video today, getting to the point. The reason for this is I'm currently already working on the next big Sega Head episode. After the Hatsune Miku one, this one's already on the go. Things are already moving along quite quickly. So I've had to spend a lot of the weekend doing bits for that. So I thought I would put out this little weird video that I've had floating around in my brain box for a while. Anyway, now I'm rambling. That always cues it. Means time to end the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.